Hi everyone, today I thought I'd do a quick uh, how to fix Play-Doh. Um, we go through so many different types of Play-Doh, it is crazy, but I highly recommend the actual Play-Doh itself. Um, it does dry out, it does get annoying, the kids do get frustrated with it, but I am able to fix it. I don't always fix them, don't um, think that I do because we go through so many different pots. I'll just show you the shelf up there. Um, and when you have eight or nine children on the day, um, I don't have time to do eight or nine different types of Play-Doh. So if anything, I cut it in half and they can have half a bit each. Um, so what I do when it is rock hard like this, well, it's not completely rock hard. It is still pliable, sort of, <laughs> if that is what you would call it. Um, I use water. It takes a while, but it does work. It really, really does. I was so tempted to try baby oil, and I think I will try that soon and see what the difference is and how, long, how much longer it lasts compared to the water. But this is one that I started about 20 minutes ago and it's finally at a point where I can sort of squish it. I mean, it'll be still way too hard for the children to do it. Um, so I'm going to carry on with this and I'll show you the final thing. So all I've got is a cup of water and the actual Play-Doh. And all I do is soak it all over and work it as hard as I can like a loaf of bread and you know when it's not done because pieces still fling off that are really dry so then we go back for more water I finished work early today, so I have time to sort out as many Play-Dohs as I can before Monkey comes back. His nan's taking him today for a trip around um, the range. Um, it's a shop, I don't know if everybody has the range, but I know we have one over here. And um, they've got their new Christmas section out, so he's really excited to go and see that. They also put out their Halloween a couple of weeks ago and it sort of freaked him out when all the things jumped out at him. But he's now gotten used to it so he's going to go back and have a look at that. So I've probably got about an hour to myself. Which doesn't mean to myself, it means getting stuff sorted ready for tomorrow. <laughs> It's nearly getting there now, and it is almost to the point where the children would be happy to play with it. They get really frustrated if it doesn't bend or anything like that. So, yeah, we do need them pretty, pretty soft, which is great. Oops, the daisies. Water flying everywhere. Some of the darker colours actually do bleed off into your fingers. Um, but it's mostly just the blue and the green I've noticed with that. Oh, and the red. The red does it quite a bit. So don't be wearing any nice clothes because they probably get ruined if you're doing it with children next to you. So I've managed to finish this Play-Doh, it is now perfect for the children, bit tacky but that's the way that they like it because it's soft enough for them to actually put the stamps in or cut it with scissors which we like to do, uh, they're only children's scissors but it improves their uh, fine motor skills and 
hand-eye coordination. So, um, we, where did I actually get the tip from? I think it was from the Play-Doh website. They've got a um, frequently asked questions section, I remember. Um, and it was just on there. So I highly recommend using water because it brings it back to normal. And Play-Doh is quite expensive if you're buying it every time it dries out. I wouldn't actually buy a cheaper, cheaper type of Play-Doh just because I know how well this can actually come back to life once I've worked at it for a bit. And yeah, hope that helps. <laughs> If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm hoping to do a few more like this, just to give you some tips of what actually happens in our Charminder slash nursery, because we've got so many children now. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you all soon. Bye!